Ladies and gentlemen, here we go and we move on to our next match. It is in the men's heavyweight division. And I'd like you to now welcome our athletes to the table. Firstly, welcome this man. He hails from and is representing the phenomenal arm wrestling nation of Russia. This man is a multiple Russian national champion, multiple EAF European champion, and also a multiple WAF champion of the world. Please welcome Ivan Matyushenko. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent making his debut here at East versus West 10 is a reigning Polish national champion. He is also the winner of the East versus West qualifier and the recent winner of the high five knuckles up super match with an impressive victory against Dave Easy Money Chafee. Ladies and gentlemen, raise it up and welcome Camille. Kamil Jablonski from Poland is ready to take on Ivan Matyushenko. Ivan, of course, is very well known in the world of arm wrestling, one of the inside legends. This will be a typical match, hook versus press. Ivan, one year older, 38, 38 years old versus Kamil, 37. Built the same, pretty close. Uh, Ivan Matyushenko, three centimeters taller, 192 versus Kamil, 189. All the stats are pretty similar except the weight. Ivan Matyushenko fits perfectly into 115 kilo class or the heavyweight class, 114 kilos, his weight versus Kamil, 128. But with Ivan Matyushenko, he's multiple times has taken on the big guys and he's ready to take on one right now. Kamil made a big name on himself in the last few years. Competed a lot, uh, biggest win definitely a few months ago versus Dave Chafee, where he unexpectedly went through him. Kamil pulls press, that's what he will try to do. Ivan pulls hook. I believe most of the match or the biggest fight will be who will take the center in this one. Ivan was here last time on East versus West, competed versus David Tarabuli, but with left arm. He said he didn't know where his left is, now he tested it. He wants to know where his right is versus Kamil. Waiting for the start, round one. Go! Wow! Wow! That was too fast. Ray. Ivan Matoshenko, way too fast. We've said many times, wow. we said in the build up to this thing, that Ivan Matoshenko is the best in the world at setting the hook. We were wondering whether the speed of Kamil Jablonski was going to be a difference maker. Ivan Matushenko takes the first round 1-0. He's in the lead. That was insane speed from Ivan Matyushenko. The speed was, I, ha I haven't seen that kind of flash pin in a long time. Just look at this nail pickup. Boom. Blisteringly quick. Blisteringly Acid quick. Acid speed. The question's answered. 1-0 and a signature. Wow. Drive to the pad. Kamil needs to, Kamil needs to do something. He's very, he's, Kamil likes to pull with his wrist bent back. This is what he's giving you right here. He's in a great position, Ray, but the issue was there yeah. that when the goal dropped, Matyushenko was so aggressive to the side yeah. and more than equal to the speed. Camille going to drop harder this time. He's looking to 
separate that arm, create total distance. Look at him backing off, trying to squeeze his thumb underneath Matyushenko. Kamil right now knows the speed, precision of Ivan, and he's trying. Yeah. He's trying his best. That's what you need to do. You need to hit your opponent out of their game. So one foul on Kamil for first for two false starts. Ivan looking very. Oh, I, I, I believe Ivan can fight and even win almost anyone 115 kilos. I think he's one of those guys we just, we're kind of giving him some matches and thinking where his level is. We always know where his level is, straight at the top. This guy is a problem for most people in the game. Jablonski with a big drive, jump start again, surely. Okay, that's a foul. I think that's an elbow foul. foul yeah. wasn't it? Was yeah. it an elbow foul or the jump start foul? Let's just have a look. It may have been a second jump and a warning, a second jump, a second I think warning. it was second warning, yeah. yeah. I think they... I mean, <clears throat> look, if you're Kamil Jablonski, you don't that's have you a great deal of option. That's, yeah, that's yeah, you, you, you go as yeah. fast as you can yeah. on the hope that you get away with it because yeah. timing is of the essence. And I'll be honest, you jump on, the, on your opponent's break your radialis a few times. You it's not going to do you any harm. Yeah. You might go through wrist, at one wrist, point. Matyushenko will be ready for that again. Looking for the strap. One warning. So one foul and one warning for yeah. Kamil Jablonski. As you say, Ray, he's doing the right thing he's though. Right Put thing. some bullets into that arm. Yeah. yeah. But you feel like Matyushenko never got out of first gear there. He's, look at his face. Yeah. Supremely Even confident. Ivan is an absolute professional. I think in, in arm wrestling and everything he does, he's an absolute professional. His approach to this is professional. Uh, right now, he's still in control, in my opinion. Kamil is just risking it. Uh, it was interesting because now Kamil knows exactly what the pace of the match is. Yes. He knows exactly what yeah. Ivan is bringing. And Ivan appreciates that. He know that, knows that's going to make it a little harder. But both of them know that if the strap goes on, it'll change the game immeasurably again. Kamil now needs to be careful. He's got to time this correctly. I feel like Kamil's right now again trying to get a little bit, a little bit of blood in Ivan's hand. Trying to, was fishing for the referee's grip and got it. But he has to be very, very careful. He has already really careful one now. foul and one warning. Pretty much, if he moves, it's another warning. Yeah, last chance saloon. Yeah. Kamil Jablonski. Well, sometimes you can sacrifice around, pretty much like that. And he's not the kind of guy you want to do, though. This is. Real sharp tonight, Matyushenko and Kamil, to be fair, so doing everything the right there. I will say so don't stay move. relaxed as the hand comes down, be go. ready. Stop. That's a perfect start from him. Oh, that's harsh. Nope. Ah, you say don't move, My so God, that's harsh. That looked clean. Uh, For me too. Morning. Second and foul. 2-0, Ivan oh. Matyushenko takes this round. Wow. I don't know. I I'm going to say that looked clean to me, Ray, but... Yeah. He was going nowhere, let's be honest. That was yeah, going to the strap. Straps. It was going nowhere. Definitely. But I'd like to... Uh, my heart goes out to come here a little bit there. I don't think he, I I don't think he jumped now. Let's have a look again. God, that looks clean. Hands are down. Is that a jump start? What's that for? I feel like Ivan was a little bit more comfortable. And he kind of... He was too relaxed. He didn't even hit. He didn't even hit. No. So it was going it, nowhere. It's a shame, actually, well, to see that end yeah, that way. Yeah, I, I think referees will definitely know better than us. Uh, if if Christo says it's a jump start, it was a jump start. It Even, actually doesn't matter whether they do or don't know better than us. Yeah. If Christo says it's a jump start, it's a jump start. Two zero. The score right now. Camille Jablonski. Bit of a disastrous start for him. He got run over the first round, and then you make up your own minds on whether he was unfortunate or not on the second one. It was certainly on the ragged edge, but he needs to be. As we said earlier on, he cannot afford to hesitate because the man who he's facing, I, th I think we're going to see a similar pattern here, actually, Ray. I think uh, you're going to see the same soup warmed over from Matyushenko. He wants a referee's grip. Yeah. Referee's grip slows down your opponent. When you don't have a comfortable grip, let's see. Round number three, maybe you're on the way right now. Jablonski going to look to slide under there and engage that press. He gives this wrist. No, no, your wrist, your wrist. Uh, he, uh, um, this is straight, you know, just I'm like just this. asking for the okay. wrist to be straightened there. Feels like he's 
slightly underneath nice. and doesn't want to be there. There is no center. Okay, stop. Center. But center is here. Yeah. Referee's grip. Referee's grip. Both men with the wife in the corner. That's the best corner man you need. Yes, open. Both of these guys already know what they need to do. They yeah. just need to do it. Yeah, the writing's on the wall, and to be fair to Kamil Jablonski, he's not, it may look like he's made mistakes, but not really. I think even, like again, with the, with the press, what you need to do is chop the arm, not the hand. And that's what Ivan did. Chop the arm, side pressure to the side, and was blissfully quick. Round number three. Oh, oh that was up. perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Absolute I was textbook. Victory there for Ivan Matyashenko. Takes it 3-0. One of them on fouls, but I think we can agree the first one on the last one, underlining the pedigree of this guy. And one word comes to mind, and it's clinical. This guy cannot make a mistake. And he, he was forced into those errors. Matyashenko just made him make that slight error of judgment. Missed time in a... Look at the speed there. Absolutely unbelievably quick. Kamil Jablonski is a very fast arm wrestler, just not fast enough. Look at this again on that replay. We're seeing the story of the match there, and Jablonski try as he may to get onto that A side and to get some engagement with the arm. I think he'd have loved to get to the strap, but so hard to do so. And I do feel he was unfortunate on that second round, but no mistakes there. And Matyashenko was absolutely clinical. Perfect execution in that last round. Caught the press, just stayed on the bone. And Matyashenko is with Ray. Matyashenko. Second time we see you, and we don't see a lot of arm wrestling. Why are you so fast and strong? Uh, sorry for that. Uh, it was necessary to win Camille. Because uh, if I was second, uh, I couldn't uh, hold him, I'm sure. He was, he's very strong in this move, so I had to be first and to take the center. And perhaps uh, he couldn't uh, uh, hold me there. So it was not so maybe spectacular, but sorry. <laughs> Apology accepted. Second round, Camille tried his best to get a jump on you. Was that frustrating or you didn't care, you just followed your game plan? Uh, I was not uh, frustrated, no. Uh, maybe just a little uh, nervous, maybe. All good? Good, yes. So, give us a name. Ivan Matyushenko, you're just absolute perfect performance. Second time on East versus West. Give us a name, call someone out. Uh, next time I'd like to pull left hand. Uh, sorry, maybe Engin. Uh, uh, Lerat would be great also. Left hand, yes. You heard it first, Ivan Matyushenko, Demolar, 115 Latin world title. Ivan Matyushenko, your winner.